think the VAT uh, legislation that is uh, imminent uh, in the UAE uh, dated 1st of January 2018 is fairly broad based uh, change and I suppose one can look at simplistically saying the cost of business will go up by 5% or the cost of the consumer will go up by 5% but I suppose there are fundamental changes that are going to be needed by business in order to be ready for, for VAT. Um, if I think about some of the broad areas where you know we will have to consider change, if you look at the aspects around contracting, so the kind of contracts that businesses have today, both with suppliers and also with customers, the whole area will have to be looked at in order to ensure that the taxes flow efficiently to uh, the 5% for the consumer and it's not that the cost of the business goes up because of, of VAT. That's certainly one of them. The second aspect is how companies look at supply chain and where do they procure from? Do they have a huge amount of suppliers that they need to start looking at consolidating? Are the suppliers compliant to uh, deal with VAT? Um, and hence, you know, is the business ready for VAT itself? So I think there's a huge element of work uh, that, and, and thinking that needs to be done in, in, in that aspect. Um, third area I, I probably look at is, uh, is technology. Um, we know that a number of our businesses operate on different systems and within uh, the business itself, different divisions operate on different um, different platforms of technology. Um, and I think, I think that's kind of one aspect that needs to be looked into, which is how do I look at technology as I look at in implementing VAT. So, for example, if my points of sale ready to deal with, so if I'm issuing uh, if I'm a huge mall or, or a theme park or, or whatever business you look at, am I able to issue VAT invoices? Um, is my systems internally talking to each other to collate the information in the best fashion and is there going to be any leakage as a result which I need to guard for? And then the last thing, last but certainly not least, is going to be the impact of working capital on businesses. I mean, we believe and we see a number of businesses operating on very wafer thin uh, working capital headroom, but that's going to get squeezed further. So by the time you end up paying VAT, uh, to the time you can probably get refunds. Um, are you going to get refund quarterly? Are you going to get refund after an audit is done? There are multiple aspects that will have to be think, thought about, and hence, are you operating a very efficient working capital setup? It's, it's one element that we would advise companies to look at. So, I suppose if you look at a, a extreme scenario, VAT costs to the business could be five percent, or, or assuming the rates are going to be five percent across, but say five percent of your of your revenue and five percent of your costs, and add it together. I mean that's the worst case, and let's hope uh, companies have the foresight to plan it so that data costs are nowhere close to that.